Uh, last month, a prominent critic of Russian President Vladimir Putin fell ill during a flight. The team of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny alleged that he was poisoned through a cup of tea. Now, Navalny was transferred to Charita Hospital in Berlin. Now, after several twists and days of allegations and counter-allegations, Germany claims to have found irrefutable evidence that Alexei Navalny was, in fact, poisoned. Now, a lab in Germany has found traces of Novichok in Navalny's body. Now, what is Novichok? The name Novichok means newcomer in Russian. Novichok is a nerve agent developed by the Soviet Union and later Russia between the years of 1971 and 1993. Novichok agents have effects uh, similar to other nerve agents. They block messages from the nerves to the muscles. Now, this is not the first time Novichok has made the news. In 2018, for example, an ex-Russian spy and his daughter were poisoned with a Novichok agent in the British city of Salisbury. The attack left Sergei Skripal and his daughter, Julia, critically ill. Now, multiple laboratories confirmed that Novichok was used to poison Sergei and Yulia Skripal. Now, the traces of Novichok found in Alexei Navalny's body further strengthen the case that he was poisoned by the Russian establishment. Now, what is Germany doing about it? Berlin is demanding an urgent clarification from Moscow on how a Soviet-era nerve agent was detected in Navalny's body. The chemical weapons watchdog has also been contacted by the German government. Germany's findings contradict the version put forward by the Russian authorities. German Chancellor Angela Merkel reacted to this news, calling it attempted murder through poisoning. C. Navalny wurde Opfer eines Angriffs mit einem chemischen Nervenkampfstoff der Novichok-Gruppe. Dieses Gift lässt sich zweifelsfrei in den Proben nachweisen. Damit ist sicher, Alexei Nawalny ist Opfer eines Verbrechens. Er sollte zum Schweigen gebracht werden und ich verurteile das auch im Namen der ganzen Bundesregierung auf das Allerschärfste. Es sind bestürzende Informationen, über den versuchten Giftmord an einem der führenden Oppositionellen Russlands. Und daher ist es mir wichtig, dazu auch noch einmal vor Ihnen Stellung zu nehmen. Herr Nawalny ist seit dem 22. August hier in Berlin in Behandlung. Aus humanitären Gründen und auf Wunsch seiner Familie haben wir seine Verlegung nach Deutschland ermöglicht. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov rejected any suggestion that Russia had been behind the attack on Navalny. The Kremlin has now warned other countries against jumping to hasty conclusions. I would be careful talking about accusations against Russia. There are no grounds to accuse the Russian state, first of all, and we are not inclined to accept any accusations in this respect. As a matter of fact, we can say that the Prosecutor General's office sent a request for mutual legal assistance to Berlin which was received by the German side, but no reply has been received yet. World leaders are demanding answers from Russia after the toxicological examinations in Germany indicated that the Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny was poisoned with the nerve agent Novichok. After German Chancellor Angela Merkel sought answers from Russia as the reports of Novichok being found in Navalny's body emerged, Many of her international counterparts have now come out and slammed Russia. She said very difficult questions have come up, which only the Russian government can and must answer. The president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, called the poisoning despicable and cowardly. She said that those responsible should be brought to justice. Even the president of the European Council, Charles Mitchell, condemned the attack and called on Russia to investigate the matter thoroughly. NATO has said that it will consult all allies on the international implications of the poisoning. NATO said that it is even more urgent now that Russia conducts full and transparent investigations. The White House has called the poisoning completely reprehensible and said that it will work with the international community to hold Russia accountable. Even Boris Johnson has condemned the Navalny poisoning, saying that the country has seen firsthand the deadly consequences of Novichok, referring to the Salisbury poisonings. Johnson said that the Russian government must explain what happened and that it will work with all international partners to ensure justice is done. The Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden slammed Donald Trump for maintaining his silence on the matter. He accused Trump of refusing to stand up to Putin. He said that if he were to be president, he would hold the Putin regime accountable.
accountable for its crimes. Now, Donald Trump is yet to comment on the matter. Even India so far has not made any statement on the revelation of Navalny's poisoning. Now, Kremlin has so far refuted the allegations of poisoning. In fact, the Kremlin on Thursday rejected accusations that Russia had been responsible for the poisoning of the opposition polit politician Alexei Navalny and said that it saw no grounds for sanctions to be imposed against Moscow of the case. Kremlin spokesman said that Moscow rejected any suggestion that Russia had been behind the attack on Navalny and warned the other countries against jumping to hasty conclusions. Earlier, we spoke to Julia Chapman from Moscow for more updates on this story. Listen in. Well, most Russian officials are roundly denying that the government could have had anything to do with the poisoning of Alexei Navalny. They're refuting the German account of events uh, leading up to his illness two weeks ago today when he took ill on a plane journey from Siberia to Moscow and that plane had to carry out an emergency landing and Alexei Navalny was rushed to a hospital in the city of Omsk. Now, doctors there said they didn't find any traces of poisoning, although that was one of the options they were looking into when they tried to diagnose him. As we know, he was later sent to Berlin after many delays that his team says were deliberate because they believe that the poison was working its way through his system and if it uh, took him long enough to get out of the country, it would have been harder to trace. Nevertheless, the German doctors say they believe that they have found uh, traces of Novichok in his system. The Russian government says that it's waiting for the information from the German government to come directly to them. They want to see all of the details before they weigh into this.